All right, foil, but not tin foil or aluminum foil, but first outer inner ass foil. <laughs> we are going to be talking about multiplying polynomials using the foil method. Now, if you've been in one of my classes before, you know that I hate it when people say that a little bit because the foil method is actually a shortcut, but I'm not even going to worry about that. I thought about actually talking about that shortcut in this video since it is Algebra 2, but... If we're needing the review, that's going to be less useful. And so we're just going to pretend like it's not a shortcut and it's just a method. So we're going to talk about F O I L full. If you're from Texas, like I am, full. And all and all, no, not those. So, what this stands for in this context, and we'll, we'll jump in with some examples here in a minute, but uh, there's a little bit to say for examples. How novel. <laughs> this is the second video in this course, maybe, that you've watched, but anyway. First, F stands for first. O stands for outside. I can spell. <laughs> outside. I stands for inside. And L stands for last. As I stated that you might have understood the gibberish I was speaking a minute or two ago, sometimes you'll hear it as outer, inner, and last. Either way it works. Okay, so let's look at what this means with an example. We're going to do two examples, and then we're going to piece out. So the first example. The instructions on all of these examples say multiply. So the first one we're going to multiply is x plus 3 times x minus 5. Okay. This is, these are polynomials in this case and we're using the foil method we're talking about specifically multiplying a binomial binomial a two term polynomial one two times another binomial one two terms okay so what we do is is we follow these steps foil first outside inside last okay so the firsts x times x is x squared. Let me actually lower that down. We're going to run into some trouble here. x squared. And then outside. So the two outsides together, x times five, uh, negative 5 is negative 5x. And then inside or inner would be these two inside ones. 3 times x is 3x, so plus 3x. And then last, 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. Now, you, I, I also like to call this the smiley face method, right? Because we're doing a smiley face. You know, you got little eyebrows and you got a nose and a mouth, which ties in with the guess and check factoring method, which we're going to review in our next video, All right? So we're not quite done with this problem. I got, I got distracted by smiley faces. Um, who doesn't? People like smiles, right? <laughs> we got to do one more thing before we can call it quits here because we've got a couple of like terms because this and this are like terms. Now, this guy right here is not a like, right? So in case you're really confused, hopefully you're not totally, completely, and utterly confused at this point, but in case you're a little confused, this x squared term isn't like the same as an x term, right? They have to be exactly the same as far as the variables are concerned. So when you combine like terms, we just add the coefficients, those numbers in front. So we're going to bring down this x squared and then negative 5x plus 3x is negative 2x and then we bring down the negative 15, right? Now we're finished with that example. <laughs> Let's do one more. I think we ought to be able to fit it on this same page without a whole lot of trouble. We'll this will call this we'll call this example one. So this will be example two. 
and it is going to be 3y plus 2 times 5y <coughs> excuse me plus 4 so we're going to follow that foil method just again right so we're going to do the firsts so 5 3y times 5y is 15 y times y is y squared so 15y squared right and then the outside 3y times 4 is 12y, so plus 12y. And then the inside is 2 times 5y, is which is 10y, so plus 10y. And then the last, 2 times 4 is 8, so plus 8. We've got to finish by combining like terms. Bring down our 15y squared. 12y plus 10y is 22y. And then we bring down our plus 8. That's all there is to that. It's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. In our next video, we'll learn how to go from this back up to that again. <laughs> and, and so go the other way. Do, do some factoring. If you're in my class, I look forward to seeing you in class. Don't forget to do your homework and all those things. If you're not in my class, thanks for joining us. Uh, so let us know in the comments whether this is these videos have been helpful or whether they have not and how else we can help you with math, science, or general homeschool information. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks. Bye-bye.